A deputy seriously injured, Canadian County deputy seriously injured by a passing driver, undergoes surgery today in Oklahoma City. This as his colleagues and the community rally around him. Our News Night's Chris Yu joins us live in the newsroom. Chris, a lot of us are wondering how this deputy's doing. Yeah, Amanda, Deputy Jose Tejoa Mendoza had surgery today on his hand and ankle at OU Medical Center. That's according to the Canadian County Sheriff's Office. His recovery, though, expected to be a long one, so there's now a fundraiser to help out his family. A routine traffic stop became a heart-stopping moment. The vehicle that hit him threw Deputy Mendoza several feet into the air and into a ditch. That collision happened Friday morning along I-40 and Garth Brooks Boulevard in Canadian County. Your heart sinks. Oklahoma Highway Patrol says Canadian County Deputy Jose Tayawa Mendoza pulled over a car for improper tag display. As Tayawa Mendoza was speaking with the driver, a white pickup sideswiped the deputy's vehicle before hitting the other car, which in turn hit the deputy, according to OHP. He had a broken bone in his hand, ankle, femur. Major Adam Flowers with the Canadian County Sheriff's Office says Tayawa Mendoza is now at OU Medical Center in high spirits. A specialist came in today to operate to give the best chance for a full recovery. While Tayawa Mendoza's family remains by his bedside, Flowers created this GoFundMe page to support them. The entire family is going to have to circle around him, get him back on his feet, and that's missed work from his spouse. Flowers says all the money raised will go directly to Tayawa Mendoza's family. We have a link to the page on News9.com. State Senate President Pro Tem Greg Treat tweeted over the weekend that his eldest son was the driver who was pulled over. Treat wrote that his son needed surgery for life-threatening injuries. A spokesperson says there is no new update today. Live in Oklahoma's, live in the newsroom, Chris Yu, Oklahoma's own News 9.